Number One Cochrane Sports Showdown is brought to you by Number One Cochrane. Go one better. All right, welcome back. Fun time of the program. We talk predictions and look at the AFC, which is loaded with talent and some of the best quarterbacks in the game. All right, so Jeff, we'll start with you. AFC North order of finish is uh, Steelers 17 and 0. <laughs> um, uh, no, Somebody's I, I think to win Twitter over here. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Uh, I think. You know what? I'm going to go against the grain and say Cincinnati's going to win the division, but I think the four teams are going to be within four games of each other. I would say Cincinnati, Baltimore, Pittsburgh, Cleveland. Uh, I think that's. I think the quarterback situation in Cleveland probably has them drops them to last place for me. Uh, the Steelers, it sort of depends, uh, but I. I like the Ravens. I mean, I, I mean, they're sort of like the Steelers. This, I mean, they just they never have that drop off a cliff. It's a big year for Lamar. And they had so many injuries last year. It's a big year, year for so. Lamar. Ravens, Bengals, Steelers, Browns. I was going to say Ravens. I thought I'd surprise everybody, but no, you guys got to take my thunder there. I'll say Steelers second place and Bengals don't make the playoffs in third, almost just to be contrarian for no other reason. Because I said I think they're a little bit over. I know Joe Burrow is fantastic. I know Jamar Chase is great too. But you know, people see those big shiny toys at the two important positions, and then you know, I don't know if the rest of the roster stacks up against the powers of the AFC. The AFC North is a deep division, yeah, it but is. it's not as deep as the AFC West. Yeah. So, Will, on on this one, look at the AFC generally. Give me the two teams that will be in the AFC championship game. Well, everybody loves the Bills, this. and I think when you look at the division, the, the gap between the Bills and the rest of the division is probably greater than even maybe in the South, right, which would be what, like Houston, or not Tech, Houston, no, Tennessee, 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 Indy. And watch and out for Jacksonville. Jackson. I mean, so I, I think. You're going to have a surprise team I think this the year. Bills will have home field in the playoffs, I think, because of their division. I would expect them to get the championship game, and then I would say, in the, I, I really like the Chargers, man. I, I liked them last year. I think they learned from all those close losses. I think they're going to be a little bit better this year. I think people are sleeping on the Chiefs, uh, and it's, it's a boring pick, I guess, but it's almost like it's not boring because everybody thinks they're going to slide back now because the rest of the division got better, and you know maybe Mahomes is kind of not, no longer the, 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 the new thing. That you know Herbert's kind of overtaken him as the as the, the next thing, and maybe even a Joe Burrow has. So I'm going to stick with the Chiefs. I mean, until they don't make it to the AFC Championship game, I'm going to say they're going to make it. And I think the Colts, Matt Ryan, I don't know. That's the big thing. They've had different. This is what six different quarterbacks, six yeah. different seasons. Ever since incredible. Andrew Luck it's left. Thing. Just rotate him. And if Ryan, I don't know if Ryan has enough left, but if he does, he'd be good. I still like the defense and the offensive line in the running game. I think the Colts could be, make the AFC title game. Wow, they picked all the easy ones. I, I don't know what, I would agree with both of yours. Uh, I'll be a contrarian and say Tennessee is going to find a way because I think Mike Vrabel is one of the best young coaches or just coaches, period, in the game. And I'll say the other one is um, Las Vegas. Oh, with the oh, Las Vegas is good. Hey, they got some talent over there. They brought Steelers in losing the first round, 17 right. Jeff. Come on. <laughs> now, give, give, give me no, the one team that will shock you. I've mentioned Jacksonville. I think that's an interesting pick just because they were 3 and 14. They loaded up, up you know, spending money, but also with draft picks. Uh, give me a team that's going to surprise. Cincinnati was last year's edition of this. Who would be your team? Surprise. Uh, I'll say Arizona. I say Arizona bounces back and surprises everyone because no one thinks they're going to do anything. Uh, well, let's see. I, let's see. I started this show by complaining about WVU. I'm going to say here, I think uh, the Commanders. I think I really think. I, look, Carson Wentz was about four stupid That's plays. Like, one. Four, four, <laughs> Carson Wentz was four stupid plays last year from having the Colts in the playoffs. I mean, that stupid pick he threw in the end zone against the Titans, like in Week well. 14. I really think Rivera. The defense is going to be good. I think that Chase Young's going to be solid and uh, healthy, and I think that. I, the division's not that great. I think they get into the playoffs at 10 and 7. Chris? We talked about division not being great. I think this, so the AFC East champion, we, we, we talked about AFC. I don't think we mentioned any of the teams in that division once. We went through pretty much every other team in the conference, I think, mentioned in some way or another. Now, the question is well, the reason we didn't, because they all aren't that good. I, I, would, I almost wanted to say the Jets is a surprise team, but I don't know anymore with, with, the, with, but, yeah, with the quarterback injury, you know, things like that. So. Like two all right. Ends. There we go. <laughs> you have it here. We're going to keep the tape and see it at the end of the year. Now, let me tell you about a special event that gathering a lot of attention this week other than football it would be number one Cochran's car stock that's right their epic pre-owned savings fest is back for only one week however more than 1200 pre-owned vehicles think about that 1200 thousands in savings financing from 0.9 percent APR all brands all budgets all price for immediate sale don't miss car stock at number one Cochran stores or online at Cochran.com hurry end September the 5th